Hello, my name is Camille Kaur, and I'm a second year medical student at the University of Rochester School of Medicine and Dentistry. For my summer research project, I explored the prevalence and presentation of cortical visual impairment and visual processing deficits in cerebral adrenoleukodystrophy. Cerebral ALD is a devastating demyelinating disease for which we have a very effective treatment option, hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, as well as many emerging treatments on the horizon. With the advent of newborn screening and a rapidly evolving therapeutic landscape, it is now possible to halt cerebral ALD at increasingly earlier time points in the disease process. Since visual processing deficits and cortical visual impairment are known to be early symptoms of cerebral ALD, I was interested in exploring these symptoms in all patients with cerebral ALD, but specifically in those with early disease. What I found most striking in my work this summer was that these symptoms are present even in patients with very early brain lesions and in those who have undergone successful stem cell transplant. Historically, we have used survival in the absence of major functional disabilities as an outcome measure to assess the efficacy of stem cell transplant. But this measure doesn't capture symptoms of cortical visual impairment until they've progressed all the way to cortical blindness. In my project, I show that cortical visual impairment is prevalent not just among untreated and advanced patients, but also in those with an early lesion who have undergone successful hematopoietic stem cell transplant. This might suggest that the window for therapeutic intervention to fully optimize visual function and functional vision may be earlier than that to ensure survival without major disabilities. Further, even boys and men considered ideal transplant candidates based on MRI score and clinical picture may not experience functionally optimal outcomes. The broader implication of my work is that earlier diagnosis of cerebral ALD may provide the opportunity to shift focus away from major functional disability-free survival toward a more nuanced understanding of quality of life following transplant. I am so grateful to be this year's recipient of the CNF's Neurodevelopmental Disability Scholarship. I've had the opportunity to learn from two mentors who inspire me, Dr. Florian Eichler and Dr. John Mink. Even amidst the challenging circumstances of this summer, both mentors made unique opportunities available to me to learn more about areas of personal interest, particularly in severe neurodegenerative diseases of childhood. I am immensely grateful for their support and for the support of the Child Neurology Foundation for making this experience possible. Thank you.